Welcome to We Talk Money. I'm your host, Robert Geniak, author of the international bestseller, Rich is a State of Mind. And today, I'm very pleased to have as my guests, Jody Brush and Scott Collier, certified financial planner, both with Sun Life Financial. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you very much. One of the things that I'm intrigued about in the work that you do is the partnership that has evolved between the two of you. Tell your viewers a little bit about that. Okay. Um, it's going to be both on a personal and business level. So um, most people know that Scott and I are a couple. We've got eight children and two grandchildren between the wow. two of us. Um, and then business-wise, the evolution came. Um, Scott's in his 18th year with Sun Life Financial. As you mentioned, certified financial planner, wealth of knowledge. So I really won the lottery when he decided to return to an advisor role. And so together, uh, working as advisors, we are um, getting out into the, the community and sharing our, our knowledge and, and expertise. And are there specific locations that you serve and the clients that you support, where are they located? Well, originally it was the Essex County, so Windsor, Harrow, Kingsville, because we're both um, county-raised individuals, um, and we've recently expanded into the Chatham area. One of the things that I really like about the work that you do is the fact that you take a holistic approach to financial planning. Now, that word may not be familiar to many of our viewers. What does holistic financial planning mean, Scott? From our perspective, it's really looking at the broad financial picture for a client. So not product specific or not one component of financial planning, but the whole comprehensive aspects of planning. Uh, so right from planning for children and their education, right through to retirement planning, family planning, debt reduction ideas, strategies around protecting their family, but really looking at the big picture, estate planning, tax strategies just really making sure that we provide um, a holistic approach to understand what are their financial goals and then re recommending solutions based on what they share with us to help them reach those goals. So it's not just about a piece of insurance, it's not just about a mutual fund, it's about I guess the entire life cycle as it relates to personal finance, money, investing and everything that goes into that. Absolutely. Now do you think that it's different in the 21st century in terms of financial planning than it ever was before? Absolutely. Um, we've, we've done a few workshops where we've shared some information with people about uh, the three paradigm shift. Okay. Um, we've got baby boomers who are now entering into that retirement phase. Some are already in that phase. Um, everything they touch changes. Our healthcare system t has changed, will change. Um, it becomes a math problem. There's too many and not enough at the same time. So the government's not going to be able to take care of us in the, in the future. On top of that, as much as advancement is fantastic, um, you know, medically, the advancements we've seen have saved lives across the world, which is wonderful. The problem that that indirectly creates, though, is we're living longer. So if you're planning to retire at 65 and you thought maybe a life expectancy was shorter, but really you're going to live to be 95, how likely are you, you know, how, what's your risk tolerance for running out of money before you run out of life? So those types of things are, are, are ideas that people need to be aware of um, and they need to rethink some of their retirement strategies. I think that's an interesting concept, running out of money before you run out of time. And it's where I would like to continue our discussion right after this short break. Windsor started a tradition way back of giving us great barbecue north of the border, and you can taste that tradition when you come to Tommy's Barbecue. Dive into Tommy's rotisserie style ribs and chicken, along with the crinkle cut fries, coleslaw, and the original hot and sweet sauces. Plus all those amazing desserts like black forest cake and strawberry cheesecake. Taste the tradition and so much more at Tommy's Barbecue, 999 Erie Street East. See you there, Windsor. Welcome back to We Talk Money. My guests today are Jody Brush and Scott Collier, Certified Financial Planner with Sun Life Financial. Now, just before we went to break, we were talking about the concept of running out of money before you run out of life. What does that mean to the Canadians? 
As Jody was mentioning, with the huge demographic shifts and, and changes that are impacting us in the 21st century, that's going to impact everything um, that is part of our lives, from universal health care to retirement planning, investment markets. And the money for life concept is one, that you don't want to run out of money before you run out of life, okay. but also that at whatever stage of life you're at, that you will have money for your life. So whether you're a young person saving for a down payment on a home, a uh, young family that might be trying to get out of debt, save for their kids' education and retirement, ensuring there's proper protection planning in case they have a premature death or a critical illness or some unexpected disability and how they'll have the adequate money and resources to deal with those issues. For retirees, it may be making sure that, yes, they don't outlive their money that their wealth strategy, their retirement income planning strategy is adequate to ensure they will have the lifestyle they intended in retirement, whatever that looks like for them, okay. as well as planning for unexpected events, long-term care needs, health events that are gonna happen along the way, as well as longer term towards their own estate planning, legacy planning, How do they, what do they wanna leave behind and to whom? How do they wanna transition their wealth for the future? When you're working with your clients, one of the biggest things I hear in my own work is the fact that financial professionals are all about the product, not about the advice. How would you counter that claim? Um, Scott and I, in our holistic approach um, with all the families um, that we meet with, we learn or we want to learn why um, they have the goals that they have, why it is that they're headed in a certain direction. Um, from that, we then design a how, which is the plan. Um, once you have the plan, then the products follow last because they will fulfill the other two needs. Um, so for most people, I know um, they'll go to the internet for advice. Google is a great you know, spot to go look for advice. You wouldn't go there to self-diagnose your own health. But many do. But many do. Um, and when it comes to financial health and financial well-being, Sure, take a look at what you can find, do your own research, be educated when you sit with an advisor, listen to what they have to say as well. Um, we believe empowering people with, with knowledge first, giving them the power to choose and have choices um, is the direction to go, which is why we're always an advice first, how and what are second and third. I think that's a very important way of looking at it on, on behalf of the clients that solve the problem because there are multiple solutions, but most people can never figure out what the problem actually is in the first exactly. place. Exactly, exactly. If you're doing that for your clients, I think that is something really, really great for the Canadians and the people that you serve. And that wraps up another episode of We Talk Money. I'd like to thank my guests today, Jody Brush and Scott Collier of Sun Life Financial. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you for having us. And to your viewers at home, thank you for watching. This has been We Talk Money. Until next time, see you then.